The United States and Britain formally accused Iran on Tuesday of supplying short-range ballistic missiles to Russia to use in the war in Ukraine and will take measures to punish those involved. Russia has now received shipments of these ballistic missiles and will likely use them within weeks in Ukraine, against Ukrainians, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said during a visit to London. The supply of Iranian missiles enables Russia to use more of its arsenal for targets that are further from the front line, he added. Blinken, speaking alongside British Foreign Secretary David Lammy, said that sanctions would be announced later Tuesday. It comes as Blinken and Lammy are preparing to make a joint visit Wednesday to Ukraine, where they will meet President Volodymyr Zelensky and other senior officials to discuss bolstering the country's defenses. Blinken said the trip came in the midst of an intense fall fighting season with Russia continuing to escalate its aggression. We see it ramping up its attacks on cities, on people, in particular, targeting the energy infrastructure, electricity, all in advance of the coldest months. Putin's winter playbook of weaponizing energy and electricity, he added. Meanwhile, the Kremlin is trying to repel Ukraine's surprise offensive that has claimed hundreds of miles of territory in Russia's Kursk region. The accusations about Iranian missiles could embolden Zelensky to further ramp up pressure on the US and other allies to allow Ukraine to use Western-supplied missiles to strike deep inside Russia and hit sites from which Moscow launches aerial attacks. President Joe Biden has allowed Ukraine to fire U.S.-provided missiles across the border into Russia in self-defense but largely limited the distance over concerns about further escalating the conflict. That has not stopped Ukraine from using its own weapons to hit targets deeper in Russia, launching on Tuesday one of the biggest drone attacks on Russian soil in the two-and-a-half-year war that targeted multiple regions including Moscow. Iran has denied providing Russia with weapons for its war in Ukraine. Well, welcome, Tony. Thank you. Uh, Russia has now received shipments of these ballistic missiles and will likely use them within weeks in Ukraine against Ukrainians. Russia has an array of its own ballistic missiles, but the supply of Iranian missiles enables Russia to use more of its arsenal for targets that are further from the front line while dedicating the new missiles it's receiving from Iran for closer range targets. This development and the growing cooperation between Russia and Iran threatens European security and demonstrates how Iran's destabilizing influence reaches far beyond the Middle East. As David said, we'll be traveling together to, uh, to Kyiv this week. And I think it's a critical moment uh, for Ukraine uh, in the midst of what is an intense fall fighting season with Russia continuing to escalate its aggression, aggression against civilians, against critical infrastructure, and of course against Ukrainian forces. Uh, we see it ramping up its attacks on uh, cities, on people, in particular targeting the energy infrastructure, uh, electricity, all in advance of the coldest months. Putin's winter playbook of weaponizing uh, energy and electricity. At the moment, there are no nuclear weapons on the territory of Belarus, Ukrainian Reserve Major General Viktor Yagun stated on air at Radio NV. Now they have prepared the base to receive it. It is completely ready. They have completely updated it. It is not far from Minsk. What is characteristic is that this distance is also quite close to the border with Ukraine. If you really want to, you can get there even with the means that we have. But at the same time this base has been restored, there is security there, not only Belarusian but also Russian. Whether there are tactical nuclear weapons there, no one confirms. But everyone understands that according to the protocol, how it should be used, the Belarusians clearly do not have access to it, Yagun said. He also commented on the CIA's information that Russia could use nuclear weapons in 2022 when the defense forces were conducting a counter-offensive operation.
In particular, Yagun explained where Western intelligence agencies get information about Russia's preparations for such operations. You need to have sources in the environment where nuclear scientists work. You need to have sources who serve in the strategic deterrence forces. And you certainly need to have sources in the government which ensures the functioning of this mechanism. If there is such information, it is verified from different sources. They may have different access. But if it coincides in general, then this information is considered objective, Yagun added. Recently, CIA Director William Burns said that there was a real risk that Putin could use nuclear weapons against Ukraine in the 2022. He added that at the end of 2022, he met with the head of Russian intelligence, Narishkin, in Turkey, where he threatened consequences for a possible nuclear strike. Meanwhile, Interesting Engineering conducted a study and found that the US could destroy all of Russia and China's nuclear launch sites in two hours. The report noted that the US and its allies' advantage in weapons and strike capabilities could cause fear in Russia and China and could already be fueling an arms race.